Hi, if you're new to my channel, I'm Jamie Glowacki and I'm the author of Oh Crap Potty Training and Oh Crap I Have a Toddler. And I teach parents how to use connection and curiosity in their parenting instead of coercion and compliance. As usual, I'm talking about us, the parents today, because so much of parenting has to do with us. And yes, I'm wearing a tank top and yes, sun's out, guns out, because today I wanna talk about exercise or at the very least, I wanna talk about movement. So there's a couple of reasons why I am particularly passionate about exercise and movement. As a menopausal woman, I'm 55, I am passionate about this because after the age of 30, we start to lose muscle. And muscle is the organ of longevity. Muscle is what allows us to not be feeble as we age. So a lot of people see me and they're like, wow, what are you training for? And I say, getting old. I want to be able to get up off the floor, not using my hands. And I also want to be able to get up if I fall. So, so many elder deaths are complications from a fall. So maybe they fall and they break a hip, then all mobility is gone, or they fall, they get into the hospital and so many people get a pneumonia or staff or some sort of life-threatening thing once they're in the hospital. So we really want to keep our muscle and as women especially we just we keep losing it as we get older we just lose it lose it loser it gets harder to maintain but it gets really hard to, to have muscle, to gain muscle that you didn't have. And so I'm really passionate about sharing this with you guys because I know you're probably much younger than me, but you've got to start now, <laughs> especially if you've never exercised. So I really want to start this video series with um, people who maybe just don't like exercise or maybe haven't exercised or maybe you just don't know where to start. And the best thing you can start with is walking. Walking is so beneficial and I have never ever taken a walk and regretted it. So the other thing about exercise, movement, walking, it helps you as a parent. If I didn't work out, I would regularly lose it as a parent. It 100% makes me a better parent. It gets my energy out. It releases anger. It releases tension. It keeps my joints mobile and feeling good. Like if you don't feel good, it's really hard to parent, right? Like if your joints are achy, if you're getting out of bed all cracky and cranky, it's going to affect your parenting. So again, let's start with just walking. Now there's a more advanced version of walking and that is called rucking. And rucking is when you walk with weight. So they sell these like rucking vests with plates you can put on. But the good news is if you're listening to my channel that you probably have a toddler who wants to be carried. So I'm sure you're already rucking a lot of your day, which is awesome. So going just for a walk with your child on their back or even if you want to carry them in front get some sort of carrier and right there you're getting such a good benefit the other thing is walking you typically are outside I encourage walking in all the elements get yourself a good rain jacket get yourself a good winter coat and just don't be afraid of the elements once I started I do mud races so I do like tough mudders and spartan races and I remember when I started I was like I have to crawl through mud but it's usually one of the first things you have to do and once you're dirty you're like oh why was I afraid of mud it's just dirt <laughs> So don't be afraid of the elements and that fresh air gets you breathing. Hopefully you break a little sweat and it also gets your child out. And so it helps the whole family really stay regulated. I love walking in any scenario. When your child's in that witching hour from three to six, a walk does the family good. Walking after dinner is one of the best things you can do for stabilizing your blood sugar. And again, just bonding, something better to do than everybody just kind of being cranky in that witching hour time. A thing that's been proven is called NEAT, and that is non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And this is those things that I'm sure you've heard of, which is like park it uh, farther away from the market or um, take the stairs instead of the elevator, right? It's all these small things we do. And it may not feel like a workout. 
And that's okay, especially again, if you've never exercised or you hate the gym or you hate the idea of like a formal workout. So get those neat, those neat things in, right? That non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is just choosing to walk a little bit here, getting those steps in. If you've never worked out, you might wanna get a Fitbit or one of those watches that tracks your steps, just to remind you that can be highly motivating for some people. I used to wear a fitness tracker, but I get obsessed with numbers, so I choose, I choose not to wear it anymore and just go with what feels really good. The next thing you can do if you're just starting out is work on your grip strength. So your grip strength is a reliable indicator of your muscle quality and your muscle strength and your overall fitness. And it's a predictor of your longevity. So I have some like stats here. Um, uh, Let's see, people who lift weights are substantially less likely to develop heart disease, high blood pressure, and many other chronic illnesses than those that skip resistance exercise. And um, a recent study of 1,275 men and women found that those with relatively feeble hand grip strength, a, a reliable marker of overall muscle quality and strength, showed signs of accelerated aging of their DNA, yeah? Their genes appear to be growing old faster than those of people with greater strength. So your grip strength works everything. And there's two ways you can work on this. One is when you're at a playground or if you wanna buy a pull-up bar, they're pretty inexpensive and you can just put that in your doorway and just hang, hang. If you can hang for a minute, that that's a predictor of your longevity. That is that means you've got great strength in your arms and your back. Everything works when you hang. And if you can build up to a minute and do this with your kids, it's so much fun and it's so awesome for your health span and your longevity. And you can do this at the playground too. Just grab the monkey bars, have contests with your kids. They love it and most kids can really, they have incredible grip strength. So it's a fun thing to do with your kids and it's pretty easy to do. Another way you can get your grip strength working is called a farmer's carry. And that's literally just carrying two things. If you have kettlebells, or even if you have a couple of barbells lying around, it's really worth it, I think, to get a couple of kettlebells that are heavy. This should be pretty heavy and they don't have to be the same weight. Yeah, they can be different weights and you can shift them. You can switch them off and just walk. Walk around the block with your kids. That's all you have to do. It's called a farmer's carry carry and you can Google it if you're unsure. It's an awesome way to build your grip strength. I love to train with really uneven weights because that's functional fitness. When we look at functional fitness, it's not for aesthetics. It's not going to the gym. It's not for these, you know, like sort of vanity markers. Functional fitness means we can lift things like our kids, like our own body weight, right? And the thing I love about functional fitness is that you never work with like two um, 10 pound dumbbells because when in life are you walking around with two 10 pound things? Unless you're walking with like two 10 pound bags of potatoes, like typically what are we doing? We got a 45 pound kid on our hip and we've got like seven bags of groceries in this hand, right? Cause we're not making two trips to the car. And so we're often very uneven. And so that's part of functional fitness and that's what I love. So again, I will be sharing a lot more about exercise and how I train and how I train mobility so that my body feels really good on a daily basis. But again, when you lift heavy things, even in that farmer's carry or myself, like I'm, I'm heavy, <laughs> but we, we train that grip strength and that is so good for everything, for a release of all our pent up emotions. Look, kids can be trying. They can work your last nerve. I understand that. But again, for us to stay regulated, we need to be in charge of our energy and we need to be in charge of dispelling that energy. And walks and grip strength are a fantastic place to start. If you've enjoyed this video, please share it and like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions for me, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you.